what we're trying to really do is provide women with an alternative uh, strategy of protecting themselves from HIV infection. The conventional methods of protecting oneself from HIV infection can include condom usage or pre-exposure prophylaxis, which includes taking of oral anti-HIV drugs. Unfortunately, uh, in certain countries, due to social cultural factors, some women are not able to negotiate condom usage or access to certain drugs can be quite expensive. By proposing our implant system, we're hoping to empower women to have a third alternative approach in which they can protect themselves. Right now, we are mainly focused on developing a combination therapy which delivers an anti-inflammatory drug as well as an anti-HIV drug. So this is very innovative and exciting because no one has really developed this combination therapy to see whether or not it will be effective in treating and preventing HIV. Uh, the first part of our objective is to evaluate whether or not women that are at high risk of HIV infection, for example, sex workers in Kenya, those women that are already taking anti-HIV drugs, uh, if they're also given anti-inflammatory drugs such as aspirin, whether or not this will help reduce incidence or even the risk of HIV infection. Uh, the second objective then is to evaluate uh, combination delivery of the aspirin and anti-HIV drugs, whether or not this combination of drugs can actually prevent HIV infection. So the third objective is to use innovative technologies and techniques uh, such as 3D printing or hot metal injection molding to make what's called intravaginal rings. These are basically vaginal implants that women can use to self-insert and allow it to protect themselves for over a 30-day period. And we're hoping to develop this technology platform as a cost-effective approach in preventing HIV infection, especially during heterosexual intercourse.